Welcome to this CapCut for Beginners tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to add clips to the timeline and reorganize it to match your timeline. So now we are basically ready to start our edit, which will be conducted on the timeline that is the lower part of the screen. This is basically where you're going to be doing the majority of your work and the upper three windows, they're basically just supporting whatever you do on the timeline. Let's start by adding a clip to the timeline. And that can be done in several ways. You can either select the clip and then press the plus sign and then it will jump into the timeline automatically. We can add another clip, but maybe we don't want uh, the full clip to be imported on the timeline. That's where we can use the shortcuts again. If we play the clip, we can press I for in and we can press O for out. So now it's only a fraction of the clip that is sort of selected in the media bin. And if I press plus, that will jump into the timeline. The clip will be added where the playhead is positioned on the timeline. And when I'm saying the playhead, the playhead is this bar, this white bar that I can move here back and forward. So if I put that one in the back here, so if I select a fraction of this clip that I wanna add, again, using the I for in and O for out, and I simply press the plus here, then it's being added next to the playhead where that is positioned in the timeline. So that part is pretty easy and straightforward. There's by the way, a selection of shortcuts. If you press here in the upper right corner of the screen, you can see all the shortcuts that is available for the software. In the beginning, I will show most of what I'm doing using the mouse, but once you have started working with the software, you will really appreciate the shortcuts that will allow you to do a lot of stuff without even taking your hands off the keyboard. So right now, if I play back these clips, they are all recorded without any audio. But I also have clips in here that have audio inside. So let's just select one of those. This is part of a tutorial. So I have something here that I want to add. I want to put it in the end of the timeline just for the sake of this demonstration. So I have my selection here and I press add. So now I will get the clip that contains an audio track added to the timeline. So uh, we need to take that, that one into account. So you can see the audio track below the video here that is shown with, as these waveforms that you have here. And you can adjust the volume up and down on this uh, slider. We just leave it around zero for now. And now you can see all the clips are basically occupying more than, than I can see on the timeline. And that might get a little bit confusing if you're starting adding a ton of clips. So what you can do now is you can basically press this ruler here and that will make all the clips fit inside the viewport of your software. You can also adjust the zoom level. If you wanna zoom in on certain details that you wanna watch or modify, this is also an option by using the slider here on the, the right side. So what I've done now is I've made a rough selection of clips that I wanna use for this short intro for this uh, drone club trip that we just conducted to this uh, Trekrona Fortress. So let's just use the, the ruler just to squeeze everything inside uh, the view so we can see all the clips at once. And as you can hear, the computer is struggling a bit. We might be able to take off some of the load by going on the modify here and go under performance and then select proxy that will allow us to get clips in a lower resolution so the computer does not need to work so hard to keep up. So let's just do that. But that will also maybe influence the quality a bit when we're working with the footage. The lesson that you just watched is part of a full tutorial that covers end to end the workflow from you importing the footage, exporting it into a final video. If you wanna watch the full tutorial in one go, you can access it through this card. Or you can watch the individual topics through the playlist below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next one.